So we have already talked about uh, safety, uh, explanation of safety, what is safety, and what what safety can do and also can help. In fact, uh, safety move together with um, health. Yeah, that's why we say health and what health and safety because if you think to feed it, they are very very important. Now, the first thing that you need to know as a plumber when you are preparing to do any job is a site visit. You go and assess the work to be done per site. Now, when you are going on site, don't just go without anything. As a plumber, you need, I think, to carry a, a part. Okay? You need to go with a what? A part. This is where you are going to write details of uh, whatever you are going to find there. Now, a pen is another two. A pad or a notebook, a pen, these are special tools. The second thing is a measuring what? Yeah. This measuring tape is very, very important because a plumber without a measuring tape, then it's not. Because how are we going to determine or maybe to know the type of, um, the size of maybe the thing that you need to, to store somewhere. Maybe it is a basin or maybe a toilet or maybe uh, a bathtub. Now a bathtub, without checking, without getting the measurement, you just say, okay, uh, you tell your client to say, no, take a bathtub. And yet that room is very small where you just need to have a shower, a shower you see. Now you will recommend to use a what? A bathtub. So, after buying a bathtub, you find that the room is small. Are you going to tell the, the, the client that it's done it? That is unprofessional. That is what? Unprofessional. So the first thing, you need to go on site. You assess the work. You measure all the rooms. Yeah, in fact, many of the time, we normally uh, use the drawing or the plan of that house. So that house, they need to show that uh, this area, this is a toilet, this area, this is a kitchen sink, this is the bedroom, the bedroom has got a self it will be, it has a self-contained. Now you need to go around and check and start measure, measuring. Maybe on the drawing it is shown that it is a bathtub. But after measuring, you find that uh, the room is what? Is small. You can advise your client, uh, mama, or oh, boss, this room is not, uh, it's not suitable for this uh, uh, bathtub, so I can advise you use what? Use a shower. Or maybe there are some corner type, corner type bathtub. If you want a corner type bathtub, you can put a what? A corner type bathtub. So now, the most important part on the measuring tape is to know the, the measurement. I think you know the measurement, right? Yeah, we have the centimeters in, in, in red, okay? Yeah, like this one is a double, it's a double measuring tape. So we have millimeters. So many of the time we normally, uh, Zambia, we normally use millimeters. Okay, because uh, after millimeters, you need to, to, have to come to centimeters. After centimeters, come to feet. Okay, after feet, I think you need to have a, 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 a what? After, after centimeters, meters, isn't it? Yes. So we have different types of measuring tape. Even this one is a measuring tape. Although sometimes we call it a folding rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a folding rule. It can be used as what? A measuring tape. Yeah. So these are the tools, some two basic tools that you normally use. Then apart from that, uh, it is the, um, the axle. The axle. So now also the axle. Uh, for me, I say a plumber without an axle is not a qualified plumber. Yeah, because axle, so we know the purpose of this axle so is to cut, especially uh, steel pipes, yeah, and also some plastic pipes. But we have special tools for plastic pipe like you see PVC, PVC. Now, there's a, there's a thing that you need to understand on this uh, 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 so We have a frame, huh? This is the frame, then we have a blade, a blade. Now, there's something that you need to, 
to know mostly okay when you are dealing with uh, this uh, axle it is to know how to fix the blade I think you have seen the arrow there okay this arrow showing the direction of fixing the what a blade to the axle software I find I, I discovered that many plumbers or many people uh, they actually put the other way okay so meaning that the the, 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 the teeth they are slant I think I've seen it the teeth are what slant since they are slant they should point away from the handle yeah when fixing they should point out from the what from the handle yes because they are slant so meaning that they should go like this to show in fact it actually help the speed of wood cutting and also avoid the accident because the moment you put the other way around it will be it will be moving quickly not cutting yeah so the best if you if you put following the ha the arrow like the way it is when you are pushing you are cutting when you are pulling you are cleaning the space yeah so don't make that mistake when you are, are fixing the handle i mean the the extra blade on the on the on the on the handle then the other thing to understand uh, is um the issue of this uh this uh dicing block what is the function of this dice block You don't know. <laughs> the function of this dicing block, dicing block, I think we have seen pipes, uh, especially the galvanized steel pipes with threads in November to Andatimi Sanga. Now, those threads are made or cut by this machine called the dicing block. Without this, when you are dealing with the steel pipes, you cannot make threads. So these are made for threads. So they come in different sizes, like this one, it is the half inch. So it should check the size of the, the pipe you are going to cut, to cut it. Yes. So this is half inch, the smallest uh, in water supply pipes. Then apart from that, um, we have um, this spirit level. Yeah, some people they may say, oh, no, this one is for, for bricklayers. No, this is an auxiliary tool. This auxiliary tool can be used by plumber, electrician, a carpenter, a bricklayer, you see, yeah, a road engineer, whatever. Why? It actually help to perfect the level, it's either the ground or any appliance that you are going to fit, to fix. So many of the time plumbers, when they are fixing toilets, we use this level. Therefore, we have the bubble here. This bubble is horizontal. Okay. If you see the water, when you're fixing, for example, a toilet or maybe a basin or kitchen sink, the water is at the middle of the two lines or two persons. It means that the, the basin or that appliance is what? Is okay. So the moment you see the water go this other side or the other side, or maybe there's a small side, meaning that it is not level, it's not straight. You can still use a uh, vertical using this yeah so this is the, for the vertical so if you are putting something which is straight it should follow the vertical bar okay yeah so there are some that have um the diagonal i think this is the one okay as you can see this is diagonal mm -hmm. so this diagonal is to measure the angle if you want to, to if you see the water is at it at the center meaning that it's supposed to be at 45 degree angle so these are the use of what the levels levels can be used uh, when you are uh, laying the sewer pipes in the trench make sure that you put a level to make your level I mean to make your your, 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 your floor perfect perfect sometimes when you are dealing with the, the gradient you don't normally use uh, this level but you can still use a damp level this that is now a machine a big machine that can show you the proper gradient gradient or flow of that particular uh, trench you want to, to do okay now apart 
from uh, this, this is another cousin of ours. Yeah. Here, here, here in Zambia, actually, we call it a bobo chan. But this is not a bobo chan. A bobo chan uh, is just a term uh, came after the, the founder, the founder of this man, too, Bob Chen. So the name, the proper name of this is a pipe range. Pipe range. Yes, a pipe range, not Bob Chan. Bob Chan just a term named after that person. For example, what's your name? Brian. So someone, instead of uh, having the proper pronunciation, Brian, okay, you can say Blan. So plan is a two. The moment you come up with something, your innovation, and it comes into existing, then people go, ah, this one is the brand or brand. Why? It is because of you. Yeah, you are the one who actually invented this. Okay? So these are some of the basic actually tools. Uh, I think I have some other tools which you need to know. Um, this two, mm? this two, it is a plastic pipe cutter. Plastic pipe what? Pipe cutter. Do I need a, a small pipe cutter? A small piece of pipe, a plastic one. So this one is used to cut plastic pipe. This piece is, I think, of heat about CPTC. I think of heat of that cut small one. That's small pipe there. Yeah. Okay. We have heard about the CPVC. So this is a CPVC pipe. Yeah. So this can be. You can only cut using this cutter. So it come very square and very nice. We 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 normally are discouraged to use a pipe. A what? Axo, why? Because many of the time when you're using the axo, you create uh, a big space. So when you're measuring using the tape, then you start cutting like this. Remember, the blades are not straight, they are they're zigzag. -like. So therefore, when you're cutting, you're creating a big space. A big space. So sometimes you can even miss some miss some millimeters. Uh -huh. So. As a plumber, you need to have this. Yeah, so you can use it to cut CPVC, not, not a galvanized steel pipe. Uh -uh. We don't use galvanized steel pipe. We need to use this. Is it clear? Do you have a question? No question. Okay. So what we are going to do is, um, I will tell. Uh, I think I'll, I'll give you a small project just to cut GI pipe and cut the threads using this. So the tool that you're going to use, you're going to use the axo, the measuring tape, and the pipe wrench. And at the same time, you need to use uh, a what? I think a dicing block. So yeah, dicing block, uh, measuring tape, and a what? So these are the tools and also the axle. These are the tools you're going to use uh, to make a project which I'm going to give you to see uh, if you are able to, to understand. Okay? So I think we, we may end here so that you start uh, the projects. Clear? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video. It is uh, the training corner so we'll be always sharing this whenever we have uh, time to train so this is plumbing uh, section and uh, we always actually share uh, different products in different ways thank you very much for your time